Hi everyone, I'm just going to show you a few of the products that I'm going to use. A lot of stuff that is shown here is not going to end up on the final uh, layout. But I do ha like to have a lot of stuff on hand and then uh, I get to choose. So I'm just showing you the washies, the stamps. I was thinking, and this actually came in the March kit, but it fit my photos so, so well that um, I had to use it on this layout. This is a lot of the digital products that I, uh, that I cut up. And I did take out some brads and some um, flares. They're not going to make it on the final layout. But again, I like to have a lot of stuff on hand and not have like my whole scrap room to decide from, but just a few choices. So I'm showing you the papers from the kit. And um, I like to start off with some scraps from the previous pages and then add some new pages so that by the, by the time I'm done working with the kit, all I have left is literally scraps and uh, then I feel like I've used I've used my kit well it's done me well so I'm going to cut that uh, vellum paper and I'm going to tuck it in behind but I want it to be above that blue paper and I'm going to take uh, those journaling cards that I cut up and I'm going to put it on either side of the photo and then I'm going to take that orange paper, put a little bit on top, a little bit on the bottom, and again, stretching the material. And uh, that's the third journaling card, and that's where I'm going to put, um, you know, the information. that I mean, he was, uh, this is my grandson. I call him uh, Baby M. And um, he was maybe 45 minutes old at that point, and they were weighing him, so I... Uh, I took a pic. I snapped a picture, and it it shows his weight on the uh, on the picture. So I thought that was that was pretty cool. So I want to cut apart um, a piece of that of that paper. I'm going to stick some on top and some on the bottom. Right now I'm just testing it, but I'm actually going to just cut pieces so that uh, again I'm not wasting papers. So I had a lot of stuff uh, going horizontally here, so I want to make sure I had, you know, as equal going uh, vertically. And uh, I'm going to start laying out the die cuts, seeing which ones I like. And a lot of times, a lot of them, a lot of it doesn't end up on the final layout, but at least it gives me something to to start with. I want to bring um, some of that orange over to the right side of the page. And this is the third layout that uh, I bring out that heart punch that I showed in one of my hauls uh, just last week. So I, I like to make sure that I, uh, I always try to use the new stuff that I have right away. So I thought this is the third time I'm bringing it out. I'm going to use it this time. So I'm trying to find some papers that I can back it up with so that uh, you can see the hearts. So it's going to take me uh, a few minutes to to find a page that uh, that I like. So right now I'm going through my papers trying to see I really like that but um, I'd have to I'd have to cut into one of those journaling cards and uh, try to find one that I didn't like as much but I like them all so I'm not going to go with that, so I'm going to keep looking through my stash to try to find a paper that, that I like. So I was thinking about that, uh, that paper, and I'm glad I didn't because the next layout that I'm going to do is, is going to be using that grid paper. So I'm going to go with that cloud paper, and I figured that paper I was going to cut up anyway, so it didn't bothering me as much to uh, to cut out a few circles out of it. So I'm going to use that as the as the backing. I'm only going to end up using one on my page, but I might put the other one away and I'll use it on another page. So I'm going to start putting out more stuff and uh, I like I love those chipboard hearts that came in the kit so 
I'm going to put uh, one of the biggest ones there to the top left. And then I put a little rectangle or square die cut under the heart circle to try to, to, to ground it into place. I tried to put a few circles here and there because um, the whole page is all blocks. So I was trying to put some different shapes to try to try to soften it a little bit. So I picked out one of those uh, little potty people, a little boy. I'm going to put out, pick out a few arrows. And uh, <clears throat> then when I was looking in there, I saw the stars. So I thought, well, he is kind of the star of the page. So I'm going to pick out a few stars to put on the uh, layout also. And eventually I'm going to uh, color those in. So I'm going to pick out a few, uh, one I believe, of uh, the wood veneer stars. I thought I was going to put more, but it didn't end up uh, making it to the page. So I'm going to use uh, some of that orange paper for the top right. And what you saw, what I cut it out from, that is all I have left of that orange paper. So. I think I used it pretty uh, pretty well. So that little die cut says dream big and I mean uh, when you have a newborn baby that's uh, that's what you have for them is is big dreams so for their life so I thought it was it was appropriate. So now I'm gonna use those uh, bare chipboards letters and uh, I don't I mean, I like them in their raw state, but I like that you can color them. So I'm going to use some Hero Arts um, inks, and I'm going to color them. But then I'm going to find that it um, it really darkens them up a lot. So I'm going to I'm going to do something a little different to them, just to try to brighten them up a little bit. So I believe the orange is called orange soda. So I'm going to color the word baby in the orange soda. And then the letter M, I'm going to color it in the teal. And uh, the reason I call him Baby M is uh, she named him Mason. And all my three kids, uh, I gave them names that when they you know, when they would become an adult, it was a good adult name. But um, when they were kids, you could make it a kitty name. Like my son's name is Joshua, so we we still call him Joshy to this name to this day. And my other daughter's name is Caitlin, and we call her Katie. And Jessica, we call her Jessie. And with Mason, we couldn't, we can't really call him Macy. So I just figured I call him Baby M. And when he gets a little older, I'll call him Little M. And then. When he's old enough, then I'll call him Mason. And uh, so what I'm going to do to the letters is um, I'm going to put basically the same thing as Versamark, but it's called Big Embossy. It's uh, so that you can emboss the letters. And I'm going to emboss it with clear embossing powders just to make the letters shiny. So I'm going to put it in my little tray there. So that I can catch the powder. So I'm going to ink up all the letters and then I'm going to put some again clear embossing powder. Basically what it does then it just makes it shiny so that it's not so flat. And now I'm going to emboss them. And I wish I would have moved it um, where I embossed it because I have my vellum paper under there and uh, it kind of warped it a little bit but that's okay once all the the papers are glued down it uh, it doesn't warp too too much and uh, it kind of gives it a little bit of dimension too so and uh, <clears throat> I should have washed my hands before touching the rest of the stuff because I ended up putting blue ink on my journaling card and on when I pick up that spoon, I put uh, blue ink on that baby boy journaling card, but I mean, <clears throat> you can't be too, too fussy. That's what I like about scrapbooking is that it's not a, 
a perfect. I don't get too too fussy because it would drive me drive me crazy. So, I mean, I do like it to be nice, but I don't. I won't rip something up just because it has a little bit of ink on it because it's part of it's part of the process. And I'm going to put my letters away. And now I'm going to take out the, it's a Technique Tuesday stamp, and it's the baby one. And uh, it says, hello, sweet baby. So I'm going to take that one out. And there's another one, too, that says baby. So I'm going to put it where it says boy. I'm going to make it say baby boy. So he was born... Uh, just February of this year, so February 1st. So it's uh, it's all new to me, and actually, uh, he's he's the reason that I that I'm sick because um, the poor little guy on February 22nd he uh, he ended up in the hospital. Um, he had bronchitis and uh, also developed an RSV, which is which which is actually quite dangerous for. A baby his age because they can't they can't get rid of the mucus as, as well as you know a kid that's older because they they can't cough so he was admitted in the hospital for for five days so they live about two and a half hours away from where I am so I drove up and uh, and stayed for for four days so that I could uh, give my daughter a break because she got it from him, so she was sick and uh, at the hospital taking care of him. So I went for a few days to help her out. And uh, of course, he was sneezing and coughing in my face. So, And I think in the whole week, I slept uh, 13 hours. So when I got home, I, uh, I started getting sick myself. But I mean, he was worth it. And uh, they're coming over next week for... Two or three weeks, so that'll be that'll be fun to uh, to have them over. And uh, this summer we're planning on building, and uh, they're going to move in with us. So I'm really looking forward to that because I really miss him. He's such a sweetie. So now I'm gonna I chose a few buttons that uh, I'm gonna add to the layout. So at this point I'm feeling pretty good with uh, what I have. Plans, so I'm going to start gluing. So again, I don't want to waste too much of that paper. I mean, it's one of my uh, favorite papers, so I'm going to cut it into thirds so that I have a piece left for another layout. So I'm going to start laying everything out and I'm going to start gluing down. So I'm going to use my, my favorite, favorite uh, wet glue. It's the uh, Quick Dry Adhesive from Scotch. And uh, I like it so much that I always have, um, I think right now I have six bottles on hand because I go through quite a bit. Um, <clears throat> I scrapbook every day. I mean, with, uh, with my job, I do shift work. So I work four days on, five days off. And uh, so every day, even the days that I work, I might not be able to do much. I do maybe maybe 20 minutes, half an hour, but I still come up in my craft room and even if it's just planning a new layout, uh, I'll do that. And uh, uh, I do have uh, a stressful job, so this is, this, is my, uh, this is my stress relief. I love scrapbooking, so I've been scrapbooking. My son is 13 and a half and I started while I was pregnant with him, so it's been about 14 and a half years or 14 years, sorry, and uh, I've accumulated quite a bit of stuff over the years, and uh, but I do use my I do use my supply. I'm having one hard time with that roll of with ATG tape. I can't wait for it to be done. I've never had so much trouble with a roll before. I mean, I've been using it's sort of a knockoff ATG, and I've never had problems with that with that tape before. I mean it's quite a bit cheaper. I only pay about $1.75 a roll. 
so I, I don't mind that it's not the white roll, but this is the first time that I have, I'm have. i having, it keeps curling up, so I don't know if the inside is broken, so it does. it's not staying the way it's supposed to, but anyway, I go through a, a roll in less than a week, so it'll be gone soon. So I'm going to use that uh, that washi tape. Actually, I think that's from the February kit, but again, I'm not too concerned which kit. As long as I get my photos into the album, I don't mind that I go over. I mean, I'm still working on my January kit, and I just received my March kit on Friday, so, but I don't mind. I, my main thing is that I use up my kits and uh, that I get my photos into the album. So, And this month has been uh, uh, a long month. I, I mean, my little grandson was, my son was sick for a week, then my grandson was sick for a week, and then I was sick for a week. So I, uh, I usually get about 25, 30 pages done in a month, but uh, I think I got this is page number nine or ten, so <clears throat> it did make quite a bit of difference. But I mean, I'll I'll get it done. So now I'm going to start gluing more of those die cuts down, and that's where I'm going to put all the information, like um, the date he was born, the time, the weight, the length, the hospital that he was born in, so that uh, we're going to have that information for. For years to come. So this is this is actually the second second page that uh, is going to go into his uh, baby album. I also got the uh, Project Life baby album. So that's going to be separate because that's going to be like more weekly and and um, you know his weight that week and how much he's eating and his sleeping pattern and and all that stuff so I gotta get started on that too um, and I want to do project life for my family too this year so um, I'm keeping up on well pretty good on the journaling part and and taking the photos I mean I'm not really consistent with you know you taking seven photos in a week and I'm not too concerned about that um, as long as I have a few photos during the week and then I can just kind of generally say what kind of week that we had so I'm basically keeping a, a journal maybe I'll I'll do a video of, uh, of the sheets that I I took that class day by day from Studio Calico so they had some sheets that they had for us to, to print out so I printed those up but I, I kind of went off on a little rabbit trail there <laughs> But uh, so there I uh, inked up the heart with that teal color again. And I inked up the heart and uh, the stars. And now I'm going to put some foam tape behind some of the circles to kind of lift it up and give it a little bit of dimension. And I like to put a glue dot behind my buttons before I sew them down. And you're not going to see that because... As I was gluing down, I took a look at my camera and I noticed that it was gonna, the battery was gonna die. So I kind of hurried up and glued down the rest of the stuff and just had time to show you a little bit of what it looked like. And I got a comment this week and someone asked if I could add some still photos and I thought, I don't know. I probably can. So I um, figured it out. So you're gonna. I'm gonna have some still still photos at the uh, at the end of this video. So thanks for that comment. I can't remember who left the comment, but thank you for that. And um, now I'm gonna add some glimmer glaze. So if there's anything that you see that uh, you'd like. You know for me to add I'm very new to this so just leave a comment and uh, I'll try certainly try to incorporate it or fix it so here I'm going to show you a quick and there it dies and here are the still photos 
I think I put uh, four just so you could have a closer look at uh, all the embellishments. So thank for, thanks for watching. Bye.